Hi, my name is Dorothy Gonzalez, and I've worked here at Hope House for 23 years. I've seen the kids come in uh, not walking, not talking, and in diapers. And by the time they leave, they're talking and walking and not in diapers. They go home for the weekends and could use the restroom. And some people might think that that's nothing, but for parents, that's the world to them, that their child could use the restroom. This is the happiest place on earth because of these kids. Um, a lot of the kids have left Hope House and they still call after being gone 10, 15 years. They call to find out how their friends are here at Hope House. They call this home. Is that what you learned here at Hope House? Yeah. What else did you learn at Hope House? Work, clean up, chores, go to school, learn, get graduation. Graduate. Go home with my sisters, have fun, and have birthday parties. And have birthday parties. All right. People want to know what what's so special about Hope House? What's unique about this environment? Why do people love Hope House? Why are they so passionate about Hope House? The answer to these questions is found by looking at the interactions between the children and the staff, between the staff and each other, between the parents and their children. It's about people who are caring and caring deeply on a daily basis. Everything we do is important, from teaching a child how to tie their shoe help him off to school in the morning with a full stomach to helping them sleep at night when they're having bad dreams when they're sick and need doctors and medical care there's not a single aspect of, of life that that we're not involved in with our children and everyone who comes to the doors is is touched by the the special feelings that we have for what we do. Every interaction, every teaching strategy requires a lot of time and commitment, but most of all, it starts with a positive relationship. The reality of Hope House closing is a serious threat to the livelihoods and the well-beings of the 40 children and all their families that we serve here. What it means is an upheaval in these people's lives that, that doesn't have to be. It's an upheaval that is going to put people in a new situation away from their loved ones and the people that they know and the, their whole world, their familiar world and comfortable world is being removed from them. And for what purpose? The work that we accomplish in this large facility is very difficult to replicate in a small setting. The amount of people that we have, the amount of expertise and services that are provided at this site would not be available in a small setting. The gains that we see in people, the skills that they learned, for people with intellectual disabilities and developmental disabilities, maintaining skills is a very challenging part of their life. And without services that are as rigorous and, and comprehensive as Hope House, we will find people regressing and losing skills that they once had, and that's truly sad. Help us save Hope House. You may not need us today. 
Somebody you love may need us tomorrow. The world needs us because we prove that people with severe de developmental disabilities belong in our society and we give them an opportunity every day to participate in the life of El Monte and America.